All right. <clears throat> okay, so it's that time again where um, they are celebrating the anniversary of Elder Scrolls Online. And to celebrate the game, they are giving away event tickets and prizes and such. And I'm a master crafter, so I will show you how that goes about. <clears throat> Sound a little froggy. I think I have a little cold, so bear with me here. Okay, so select all these guys. <clears throat> it's two o'clock in the morning our time. And it resets every two every day at two o'clock. <clears throat> I almost went too far. Okay, so Alright, the first thing we do is our alchemist writ. So damage, stamina, poison, okay? Okay, so it's poison. It's on, okay, hold on. <coughs> oh, no. Okay, so damage stamina. We look for damage stamina. Or sorry, not damage stamina. Ravage stamina. That's magica. <coughs> First rip, done. And next, I'm gonna do Enchanter next because it's right next door, basically. Well, not next door, but like right next to me, right here. <coughs> so superb glyph of stamina with Ta. Ta. Stamina. <coughs> Superb is, um, I think it's, uh, Rajira? Yep. Rajira. Okay. And do I need to extract anything? Uh, yes, I do, but I'm not going to do that right now. <coughs> Alright, so. Next is jewelry. Okay, we need a silver ring and a silver necklace. Okay, creation. Silver ring. Make sure I have nothing. So okay, good. Silver ring. Silver necklace. Okay. Cool. Oh, wait. Oh, shoot. I just made a mistake. I didn't change it. Whoops, I had it pewter. Mistake! I'm going to send that to my other character. Okay, so silver ring. <coughs> silver necklace. Oh, I already had a necklace in there. Derp. Okay. Okay, and the next one is woodworking. Okay, we need two ash bows and one ash shield creation okay okay <coughs> one two one okay next is our clother writ uh, here we go. <coughs> I have like a frog in my throat. It's annoying. Okay. I do not sound like this normally. Alright. <coughs> Helmet. And cops and bracers. Okay. Alright. Helmet. Cops. Bracers. Okay, 
point, do I need any research? Oh, no researched. Okay. <clears throat> new thing. Did your sister see a clutch uh, of butterflies when she was there? Okay. What you like. Blacksmith. I'm glad things have gone down there, whatever the cause. Helm, dagger, pauldron. Okay. Okay. Dagger. Helm. Pauldron. <clears throat> okay. I think that's all of them here. Okay, so this gets done. This is done. This is done. This is done. This is done. Okay, woodworker. Okay. The this was already done. Um I already had it, but um I can show you where to go. This is grot wood by the way, so Okay. This is where you normally cook for the provisioner writs. Oh, and I almost forgot. You also want to take the cake out. I already have an hour. I still have an hour left, but after 2 o'clock it resets, so you get event tickets. So I will show you. This is the Jubilee cake for this year, for this anniversary. Eat the cake. See? Got event tickets. Yay! <clears throat> okay. Yeah. Actually, before I submit those, I should... Yeah, yeah before I submit those... This is something I have to do because I have 12 of 12. I need to I need to do something quickly. All right, so in order for that to happen, we go to Alderaan. All uh, right, whoops. Of course, Elden Rood has a significant within the tree. The How the would one find him? The tree is so large. Within the tree. <sighs> I don't want to switch level. I want to get out of here. Why don't I remember? <sighs> Why don't I? Why is it? Oh, here we go. Derp. Okay, Alderaan. <coughs> you see this little guy here? Put a marker on there for you. Zoom in. I'm gonna go to this way shrine. Okay. This is something we're gonna do quickly because just in case, because we're at max tickets. And we, with these event tickets we get, we can trade them in for things and I'll show you what you can trade them in for. Those lovely loading screens. This is a pretty picture we're looking at. I always make the trees look really pretty in this game. I would love to love to have been this uh, conceptual artist. It's just they did a really nice job. And I see that little you see the little twirling thing at the bottom. It reminds me of um, the Orin from Neverending Story a little bit. You know how instead of dragons, it was snakes that were eating its own tail. It's very similar, a different shape, but you know you get the gist. This may be an unusually long time. Load time. Well, of course. Of course. Uh, it's always the case. Well, not always, but... <coughs> Murphy's Law. Alright. So. Uh, this way. I go to this location because this is what I know by heart. So, there's, uh, there's other locations. Um, oh, wait. Whoops. That was for the other part. Okay, it's over here. Okay. And then you talk to the... You talk to this lady up here. 
Is that a heroic silhouette I spy? Yeah, oh, God. All right, so I already have all of these basically. Okay. So you see the ones that are red, red like blanked out. Those are the ones you've already taken or that you've had. But uh, unless you're new, they all be uh, available for purchase. Um, you can also buy these, which is kind of cool to put in um, your house. But I think I want to get uh, this one. And since there's two techets left, I want to do... Oh, I can't. I need three. Burp. Okay, next time. Alright, what did the... What's social... What's, what's going on? Oh, collections. That's what it is. Frag so these are fragments. So, so we just collected another piece of a fragment. So I have, you need to get four fragments to collect to make a mount. So I, I'm, I've got half done for this one. Um, half done for this one. One third, uh, a third of this one. No, it's not a third, her, a quarter, excuse me. A, th a quarter ag uh, again. Uh, I've got none of these. Uh, none of these. I want this one. Like none. Two. These look cool. Alright. Anyway. Okay, so back to the crafting. Um, Alright, so to do that, we can, do, we can actually submit them here. Let's go all the way here. Whoops. Alright. And we're off. Okay. We go around the bend here. Whoops, not there. We go over here. Around the corner, and yep. straight down here. Whoops. Off the mount, and here we are. Anniversary Jubilee gift box. So you get a box for every uh writ that you make all right so you have to be careful because um, in this particular game you can have up to nine characters and I have nine characters and uh, what I do, this is my main character. I've had her the longest. So she's my main crafter. So I make sure I give her all of my um, writs and materials and, well, the craft bag you have, but materials that are not for your craft bag and um, recipes and things you get. So let's see what we got in those boxes. <clears throat> all right, so inventory. Supplies. Okay, so no, this is not. See all these recipes? I already have these. So what I do is I usually give them to my other characters, and then um, yeah, and then you can sell them as well. Okay, so let's open this up. Supplies. More supplies. Some of the times they're junk. Okay, so this is good. I've never, I never got. I don't have this one yet, so this is good. Sometimes you get good stuff, sometimes you get crap, but still it's free, so what can you do? I mean. Okay. 
Okay, so I already have that one. I already have that one. I already have that one. Alright, so if that's the case, I'm going to sell these guys. But anyways, that is how you do this event. And this is what I was looking for. Oh, I just became a master provisioning furnisher. That's cool. Alright. So I hope this has been helpful. And yeah, there you go.